Right and left atrial abnormality, heart and tachy part 1. Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about right and left atrial abnormality in ECG, the SA node initiate the activation of atrium. Maximum duration of normal atrial activation is 110 millisecond. SA node is situated in the right atrium so the right atrial activation begins first. The term enlargement refers to increase in chamber size that is enlargement occur due to volume overload. The ECG is poor at differentiating the enlargement in hypertrophy, only echo can differentiate this. P wave represent atrial depolarization so if there is any abnormality in the atrium, we can identify it from P wave morphology and P wave axis. What is meant by P wave axis? Like QRS axis there is another axis called P wave axis which is the net depolarization of atria right atrial depolarization occurs in the direction plus 90 degree because right atrium lies inferior to the sinus node and left atrium is also placed inferior left to the sinus node so direction of depolarization lies inferior to 0 degree. Net direction of P wave axis is the vector sum of these two known as P wave axis is in between plus 30 and plus 75 degree that is in the direction of lead 2 in the AC. For detecting the right atrial and left atrial enlargement the leads which are more specific are lead 2 and V1. Look here, in this picture you can see as we said the P wave is the net depolarization of both atria. So right atrial depolarization occurs first, so first half of the P wave represent right and second half of this represent left atrial depolarization in the lead to, in V1 P wave is biphasic because first positive part is occur due to spread of depolarization in the same direction of V1 and while spreading the electrical stimulation to left atrium it is away from V1. So there is a negative wave occurs in right atrial enlargement and takes lot of time in spreading electrical activation via right atrium. As a result this will affect the first half of right atrium and left atrial depolarization is normal in RAE, so the P wave will be greater than 2.5 mm in lead 2 and peaked. In lead V1 due to increased time and spread in depolarization due to RAE first positive biphasic pattern will be more than one small box in amplitude RAE also affect P wave axis this will be more than 75 degree in right atrial enlargement. To be continued, if you like my channel do like share and subscribe thank you.